Spencer Lewis here for SunsetSpeedway.ca. I'm here post race in the pit area at my second place finisher in the Super Stock Division. It's the Thrill Billy Lane Zardo. You had to take the scenic route tonight, my man. You started a little bit deeper than I'm sure you would have liked to in the feature, but uh, car was on rails. 46 machine looks awfully good. I should I'd be feeling pretty good for the 2015 season. Yeah, man, the, the first couple practices were off the hook, you know. We could slide the car into the corners. We, we made up so much ground. And uh, when I was watching the heats, I noticed that Caden didn't really look too fast. And then I realized that he was in heavy traffic. And um, I got the luck of the draw. I started outside pole in the heat, and I started inside pole for the dash for cash. And I just, when I was in my own open air, man, I was on rails. But uh, with this traffic here, there's so much stellar competition, and everybody's so well lined up that uh, when I was watching Caden in his heats, he couldn't really figure out a way around him, and I ran into the same problem in the feature. It took me so long to get around him. So I kind of used up my car a little bit, and um, we think maybe if there was a caution, there might have had to be a little bit of rough play, even though me and Caden don't really play that way. We might have been able to get something, but at the end of the feature, Caden was on rails. I was quick, but we don't know what could have happened. It would have been a good race. I mean, the fact that we've, we've almost doubled this roster uh, in the super stock division, does that is that an indication that lap traffic is probably going to be an issue moving forward, almost on on a weekly basis? Oh, it's crazy. I mean, like this is such a double lane track, and uh, you can't run three wide like I used to hear. So if there's two cars that are pretty close to the same lap times right in front of you, and they're running double file, you you can't hit them out of the way. It's hard to go three wide, so you have gotta pick and choose. Uh, you can't you can't bump and grind at this track with this division and with these. Uh, they're almost late models now, what we call thunder cars, and they're so fragile. So as soon as you start bumping and banging, you're just gonna go right to the back. So you really gotta work on your patience. And um, I had a buddy told me, Graham T. Anis, unreal guy, works on cars. You know him really well. He's Anis. What? Anis. <laughs> Anyways. He told me the greatest quote I've ever heard, and it was just patiently aggressive. All you gotta do is just lay back, and then when your time's right, stick your nose in there and don't hold up. So, I mean, I know that you want to get back into championship contention. You want to get back to the head seat of the banquet. You finished second to a car that's not running for points this year, so really, a solid opener for the 46 car. Is that the way you have to approach this moving forward this season? You know what, halfway through the season, that's what my thoughts would be. But for the first five weeks, all you gotta focus on is winning when you're winning. Consistency is important if you're going for a championship, but you can't go into a season saying, I'm gonna win the championship. You gotta go into the season saying, I'm gonna be the hottest car on the track. I'm gonna try and win as many races as possible. And if you win those races, great. If you get consistency, great. And then the championship will just kind of work out. You need to only focus on the championship, maybe the last half of the season, even if that. What did you learn about this race car tonight? Um, I learned that it's a lot better when it's a free for all and I'm by myself. And in traffic, we might need to work on it a little bit. Uh, on the outside, it's not as hot as it wants to be on the inside. But uh, we need to work on our little. We need to work on our brake program. We need to do a little bit to the suspension. And other than that, I think we're pretty on rails. I mean, we can get through the center of the corner faster than anybody else around here. And um, I think our consistency is good. Our lap times have stayed consistent throughout the whole night. So it's just a little bit more grinding in the shop. And I think we had the car to beat tonight. We started, what was it, 12th? And then we got all the way up to second. We passed the most cars. And the only car that was faster than us was starting on pole. And although he was. He was fast. I think we might have had a chance to get him. Thank the people behind the scenes that uh, they make all this happen for the Thrill Billy. I gotta thank Mike Holmes. I gotta thank National Exhaust. And we just got a new sponsor, Shelby Roofing. It's uh, my uncle Scott. I gotta send a huge shout to him. He's got this program really on track. I gotta thank everybody that works day in and day out in my garage. I gotta thank my grandpa, Bill. I gotta thank my dad. I gotta thank Steve Duncan, Glenn Duncan. I gotta thank my brother for all the advice that he gives me. I gotta thank my mom for just being my mom. I gotta thank every single one of the fans that come up to support me. I had a fan that actually made a sign that lit up. I don't know if you I saw it, that was awesome. I don't know if you got a chance to see it, but That's how you was, know things are getting real. We invited her down to get a picture. We tried to make her night a little bit better and uh, it's just support like that that just drives me and makes me want to go faster turn left. When signs light up, that's how you know it's getting it's getting heated. It's getting real man. Have a great week. Second place run tonight, good way to start 2015. We'll check in with you in week number two. I'll see you then. The Thrill Billy Lane's art of